What's up everyone, it's the GTG coming to you from Singapore to the NYC <laughs> and uh, today's video is about does stretching help you to grow taller and the simple answer is yes, stretching does help you to grow taller. If you look at any natural grow taller or height increase program they will all contain stretching, 100% guaranteed. What does differ is maybe the types of stretching, uh, the periods of time of stretching for each and every different program. What I try and do in my programs is combine the stretching with the correct diet uh, and also try and combine that with the correct growth hormone release. So what basically what happens is when you stretch, you, um, you stretch out your body's bones and cartilage and when you keep doing that, the cartilage actually thickens. And what happens is, when the cartilage thickens, that actually makes your body grow taller. Because obviously, as you're stretching out your bones, and then the cartilage is getting thicker and thicker and thicker, when the bone actually goes back, the cartilage is, is bigger, so it actually makes you grow taller, yeah? That's, that's, that's basically, in basic terms, why stretching is good for growing taller. So just remember that you're elongating the body, you're elongating the bones, and then between the bones you have cartilage. Each time you stretch them, it gives chance for the cartilage to go thicker and thicker and thicker. Um, it may only be tiny, minuscule amounts, but obviously if you're doing it every single day, then over a period of 60 to 90 days, then you are eventually going to grow taller. Especially if you're combining that with the correct growth hormone and correct diet, there's, there's no doubt about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some um, some stretches, some secret stretches that I haven't actually revealed um, on a YouTube video before. Uh, they're going to be there's going to be three stretches to do. Um, what I advise is that you try this out for the next 60 to 90 days, and you do it twice a day, uh, once uh, in the morning, uh, within an hour of getting up. So whether you do it straight away or whether you you know have your breakfast then do it you know somewhere between getting up and within an hour of getting up and then if you do the second one within an hour of going to bed it could be just before you go to bed or it could be uh, you know half an hour before you go to bed or an hour before you go to bed just within an hour basically of going to bed so an hour after you you know within an hour of getting up and then within an hour of uh, of going to bed and you're going to do three different types of stretching uh, and you're going to stretch three times and you're going to stretch 30 seconds for each stretch. So all together you're going to be doing nine different, nine, well not nine, nine different stretches, you're going to be doing three different stretches nine times each for 30 seconds, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, uh, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what to do. Okay guys, so the first stretch you're going to do is called the mountain. You don't need to worry about doing anything with the bottom half of your body. It's all concentrating on the top half. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stand up, arms by your sides, and then you're going to raise them up, and you're going to try and push, push, the, push them hands right into the sky, man, or right into the ceiling. What I find is as well, you're going to do this for 30 seconds. By taking short breaths, I feel as though I can I can stretch that a little bit further. If I've got a lot of oxygen in my lungs like this, I feel as though I can't stretch as much. So what I do is I take short, sharp breaths while I'm while I'm stretching. Some people even hold the breath for a little while, but I'd say just be careful with that because if you hold your breath all together, <laughs> you might end up passing out. So you're just going to hold this for 30 seconds. You'll feel the stretch all the way up the back of your spine towards the top. And you may even feel it on your lats, which is just your, your sort of wings here. And then once you're doing your 30 seconds, just come back down, nice and slow. And then you're just going to do that three times. So three sets of 30 seconds. Like I say, it's up to you about the breathing. I just try and keep it nice, short and sharp. Just like that. Obviously, I'm just getting I'm getting the oxygen into my lungs. Some people just just hold it, and then uh, and then other people just just like to breathe normally. But me personally, 
short, sharp breath. So that's the first stretch you're going to do, okay? Okay, guys, the next stretch you're going to do is pretty similar to the last one. However, you're going to be lying down horizontally. And what you're going to be doing also is see where my toes are. You're just going to be pointing those toes as far that way as you can. So you're going to point your toes that way and you're going to do a similar stretch to what we just did, which is the mountain. This one I like to call the fish. So you're just going to go up and you're literally just pushing those fingers this side and then pushing the toes that way and you're just going to hold that for 30 seconds, just taking some nice short sharp breaths. As regards to the intensity, that's something that you're gonna to have to stop, you're gonna to have to calculate yourself unfortunately. Um, you know, I can't be there to say, oh that's the right amount or anything like that. What I would say is if you start shaking a little bit, don't worry about it, that's just normal, that's just the blood trying to get into the muscles. So don't worry too much about that. If you do feel any kind of sharp pain, stop the exercise immediately. Um, and I think the best thing to do is just, just take it easy at first. You don't need to go crazy and intense straight away. Intensity just comes with time, and you, once you start building some momentum with your stretches, uh, you'll, you'll find it gets a lot easier. So just, uh, just take it easy on the intensity at first. You'll find that that just comes with time. So um, yeah, so you're, just, you're, gonna, you're gonna do that three times, 30 seconds each time, short, sharp breaths. Um, I mean, it's down to you about, about, the, about the breathing, really. Like, if you, if, you, if you feel like you can take a big, deep breath in and you can stretch better that way, then that's fine also as well. Or if you even want to hold your breath and then do some short, sharp breaths after about 10 or 20 seconds, that's fine. So that's your second stretch that you're going to do, okay? Okay, guys, the third and final stretch you're going to do, uh, some of you may have seen this in uh, on my other YouTube channel, it's the double leg forward bend. It's a really good stretch because it not only stretches uh, the bottom of the back and the top of the vertebrae, but you're also stretching the, uh, the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and the, the, that bone. That's <laughs> one of the biggest bones in your body, you know, from your, from your knees all the way up to your pelvis, so you're going to be stretching out that bone as well. Okay, so you're just going to put your legs about shoulder width apart, and all you're going to do is just slowly do this. <laughs> if you haven't done it before, you're just going to slowly, slowly, slowly reach towards them toes. See if you can do it today. And touch them toes. If you can't touch them at first, don't worry too much about it. As you do this more and more, you're going to get even more supple. You can even hold your fingers over your, over your toes. Be careful not to cheat. Make sure you try and make sure you keep your legs straight and don't bend them. Obviously, if I bend them, that's, <laughs> that I'm not even doing the stretch. Then you've got to, you've got to make sure you keep these, keep these legs locked in and keep those legs straight, yeah? So you're going to stretch over. You'll feel a stretch in the bottom of your back, top of your back, and also the back of your legs. And then just hold that again for 30 seconds. Short, sharp breaths. Especially with this one, it's really good to keep the short, sharp breaths because obviously as you bend it over, you've got like your lungs as well. So short, sharp breaths. If you've got a you've got a great big air full of lungs, you're going to find it maybe a little bit more difficult to bend over. So what I do is just same as the other two exercises, just short sharp breaths and, uh, and you should be good to go. Hold it again for 30 seconds. Doesn't 
mind if you're shaking like I am. It's perfectly normal. And then release. Nice and slow. I think that may have been a bit longer than 30 seconds because obviously I was talking to you guys as well. So that's basically it guys, if you just try those three exercises out for the next 60 to 90 days and uh, if you want to post on this video with your progress on a daily basis, uh, get yourself measured, uh, even do what we're doing, start on day one, you know, it's, the main thing is with the Gross World Program is that you actually start somewhere, you know, it's all about starting, you know, you're not going to grow taller overnight, grow tall overnight. Growing tall is the process, and you find that some things help certain people more, and then some other things help other people. There is no, you know, simple one way to get there. You know, some people might find that maybe just adjusting their diet may help them to grow taller. Some people may find it's a combination of stretching, diet, amongst growth hormone release. Other people might just need a bit of growth hormone release. You know, so. Give it a try guys, get started on a growth sort of program, get started doing some stretching and uh, I hope this video has been informative uh, and please comment on the bottom and you know, tell me how you're getting on with your progress with, uh, with this. So uh, I shall speak to you again, same time, same place in a couple of days, GTG from Singapore to NYC. <laughs> See you later guys.